Hey guys, Cameron over at 816 Diesel. Airplane's coming in hot. We're live downtown Kansas City, West Bottoms. Got a super cool truck. A lot of people have been waiting on it. We apologize about the delay. It's kind of slow around this time of year. Uh, but we're still here churning out cool trucks. 2008 Dodge Ram 2500. Uh, it's an SLT Bighorn truck. One owner, 6.7 Cummins diesel, crew cab short bed. Um, as you can see, we've got some stuff going on. We've got a lot of good, a little bad, but we're going to be going through it today. I'm going to be showing you every every little detail I can think of. But it's an 08 one owner truck. It did come out of the north. It has a little bit of rust. It's not a rust bucket, but you know, like I said, I'm going to show you the good and bad. Really clean interior. One owner truck has to be expected. Nice clean seats. Gray cloth. Let's hop up here. I got the headlights on. They're DRLs we put in there, but you really can't see because of sunlight. And the truck is not ice cold. Shops down their ways. We drive them here. We do the cold starts here. It is what it is. 178.095 on the miles. And as you can see, the temp isn't registering yet. So I could tell you it's cold, but it's not. We've driven it a mile and a half, roughly. Let's fire it up. Truck starts, runs, drives amazing. It drives like a, it runs and drives like a 671 owner come and should be expected to. Um, it's fully deleted and tuned with a tow tune. Uh, it's got plenty of power. It's got a EGR delete, DPF delete, four inch turbo back MPRP exhaust. Like I said, a single tow tune, 40 extra horsepower. Uh, it did come with the factory tow brake or the uh, exhaust brake power sliding rear which does work and you get your light load button cigarette ac heat all that works four wheel drive works great i actually had to use it to pull a truck out earlier today in my shop that was dead so we put a tow strap on put this thing in four wheel drive i didn't even have to give it gas this truck is really nice there's not a lot to complain about um, we've serviced it head to toe, tinted windows. We did the LED daytime running light headlights, LED tail lights, third brake. Um, front bumper's wrapped. It's not the best wrap job in the world. It looks great from 10 feet, but it's got some wrinkles and tears. The truck's not perfect. Like I said, it is a northern truck. Um, it does have a little bit of rust. It's not the worst rust, but there is some there, and I'm going to be showing it to you. has the businessman console, which I love. Three cup holders, trailer brakes, um, cruise control, all this good stuff. It does work. There's no check engine lights. All your windows and locks and all that good stuff work. Power mirrors, I just adjusted them. They work perfectly. All your windows and auto functions work as well. Uh, overhead even works got your temperature your compass your economy all that good stuff on there auto dimming rear view um, back seat pretty standard basic it doesn't look used very much on the inside it's really clean i mean gray dodge cloth seats are usually stained and disgusting these look very minimally used but um let's hop out it's uh 47 degrees in kansas city today so it's some decent weather don't mind hopping out and showing you everything and talking outside pull the hood in case you're wondering about specifics pause your screen there there's all your details starting under the hood up front truck got a full service through the shop s and brand new cold air intake as you can see the EGR is deleted blocker plated um, everywhere it's got a couple of nice die-hard batteries in it. Let's check it for a little blow-by. No blow-by on a Cummins. Exactly what you want to see. Not a lot to complain about. Super cool headlights. That's a daytime running light. We're looking right at the sun, so they don't show up as well. It's really nice white, just a light white. Looks good, kind of like those fancy cars you see in your rear view mirror. We did a paint to match, full billet shell, riveted. 
Uh, we did the black housing headlights with the DRLs. The awesome hood scoop was already on it. Like I said, the front bumper's wrapped. And if you're looking at it, it's just this chrome piece. From, like, from a couple feet, it looks phenomenal. It's even color matched wrap. It's got the same high pearl gloss metallic as the paint. Because this right here is the wrap and that's the paint and it is identical. But it's got some creases in it. See these little creases? It's an amateur wrap job, but like I said, from five feet, it looks phenomenal. So just being honest with you guys, it ties the front end together. That is a stick on hood scoop. Someone put it on. It actually looks really sharp though. It looks, you know, like an SRT hood. Um, so headlights, grill, wrapped front bumper, hood scoop. It's got the tow mirrors. We did a brand new three inch level kit and we rebuilt the whole front end. When I say the whole front end, upper and lower ball joints, uh, tie rod, draggling track bar, um, shocks, gearbox, pitman arm, all of it is new. The reason being these Dodges kind of ride rough. So when we lift them and put them on 35s and 22s, you know, you gotta do everything you can to make it ride better. This truck rides phenomenal for what it is, but I'm just being honest with you and telling you, it rides like a Cummins on a three inch level with 35s and 22s. Uh, but that being said, let's take a look down here. As you can see that leveling kit's new, new hardware on top. We've got a 22 by 12, negative 51, Mayhem. I can't remember the name of the wheel. Arsenal, I wanna say. And we're rocking a 35, 12, 50, 22, Amp Terrain Attack. That is a 40,000 mile tread warranty life. You got any issues, sidewall failure, uh, slip a belt, anything that's not your fault, we will give you a brand new tire. That's what we do at 816 Diesel. We put new tires on everything and they're warranty. Now, if you let your front end go and cup the tires, that's on you. Brand new wheels and tires on this rig. We put fender flares on it, pocket riveted style. Uh, reason being, there is some rust on this bed. I'm sure from this angle, you can kind of see this arch. We're gonna get there in a second. Let's go through the cab first. So, like I said, this truck has, with its rust, it is not a rust bucket, but it's not rust free. So if you're looking at it from right here, Paint's flawless. Bottoms of these doors, super clean. Rockers, they look nice, but they've had some filler or some replacement and bed liner at some point. They're not flawless. I'm just kind of trying to show you. Bottoms of the doors as well. A little touch up, but they're not rusted out and rotted out either. Northern truck, one owner. Like I said, I'm just showing you the good and the bad. Back seat's really clean. It's got the flip up seats with the trays that pull out. Really clean and nice. Also it's got your little ashtray and your plug back there. Uh, five seat belts in the truck. Tinted windows, power slider, smoke third brake LED. Someone put this on here. We did not do that bad boy. It's a fuel tank. Okay, so the big elephant in the room. Rust on the wheel well. Someone tried to fix this at some point. It is not terrible. It is not quality. It is what it is. We put these flares on to try to cover it up some, but you know, you can see in there, there's some touch up and filler and there's some clouding going around it. Some overspray. It's also dirty too, so. Just to show you how dirty it is. Heck. But you get the gist. It's there. Now let's go look at the bed rails, because here's the weird part. Like I said, good and bad. The bed rails are solid. The under of the bed is not rusty. Those cross rails are solid. That one's got some surface on it. All the other ones are nice. So the bed is not rusted across. It has some rust on the wheel wells, but it looks beautiful on the bottom side, which is rare. It also does not have a fifth wheel hitch, so this is not a working truck. It's never had gooseneck. It's never had fifth wheel in it. It's got a spray-in bed liner. The bed's in great condition. I can't say a bad thing about the bed. Really nice. 
We did upgrade some really nice black housing LED tail lights. Uh, they all work, no flicker, no hyper blink. It has a black paint to match rear bumper. That is not vinyl wrap, that's brand new paint to match. Uh, it's got your factory receiver hitch, trailer plug right there, seven pin. We put a four inch MBRP on it, no tip. Do whatever you guys want to do, cut it back, put a tip on it, dump it. Same thing on this side. It's not as high on this side, but same thing, this body work that's on here. Like I said, it isn't the worst thing in the world, but it is not perfect. It is what it is though. Still got 170K. And same, let's check the rust on this side, because I want you to know this bed inside now. Same story. Look how clean that is. Minor surface rust up there in that joint area. Cab corners, look at that paint, it's beautiful. It's never been touched, bottom of the door. A little bubbling over there, but beautiful along the bottoms. When these trucks rust, all that usually goes, especially right here. This side looks nice. So it is what it is. It's got some rust. It's not a rust bucket. I hope I conveyed that to you guys. This truck's really nice overall. Turnkey, we fixed everything we could find on it. It's got tons of power. It drives like a tank. It's ready to tow. It's ready to work. It gets looks everywhere it goes. We blacked out everything. Uh, it has a Missouri inspection, alignment. Everything's done to it. So head on over to 816diesel.com. 816diesel.com that's my website on there you're going to find pictures videos uh vin number pricing all the details you need are on the website including my cell phone 913-735-3748 call me text me let me know if you got any questions if you want to come see it mark my words this video will be sold this truck will be sold in the first week I've had so much attention on it and it took me forever to get it up because we just been short staffed down here at the shop. But sorry again about that guys, we're back. You're gonna see a lot more trucks coming up quick in the future here and I appreciate your time as always. Uh, head on over to the website, 816diesel.com and look forward to hearing from you.